So for these, generally, if I'm throwing a wrap on my left hand, I want my toe to point where I'm landing, right? So if I'm landing there, I want my toe. Because if your hip is out, right, you're going to reach past your toe. If your hip is in, your power point's not over here. So when you're throwing that wrap, make sure your toe points to where you want to hit. Okay. So I'm going to just throw this real slow. Start correcting me as you need to. Okay. So throwing it in. Back blade at the opponent. In. Nope. 90. 90. So you don't have to straighten your arm out. So watch okay. right. so, so you keep straightening your arm out. So watch, watch the shape, right? And it's just you're already in range. There's no need to straighten your arm out, right? Or you should never really straighten out much past that. Like if I'm further away, I need to reach. Open it slightly, right? But never all the way. Oh, sorry. Right. Oh, <laughs> That's so weird. So, it's essentially turning your palm like this, right? Or like this. And then just elbow first, snapping it in there. That's your wrap right there. Okay. Don't straighten your arm. <laughs> elbow first. <laughs> nope. You don't need all this twisted. So, did you, did you restart it again? Okay. Here, here. Turn your hand as far back as you'll let, right? Right there. And now, throw, like that, snap. God, that's horrible. Yeah, so you can practice it in slow, right? When yeah. you're, like, when you first started, you want it to be a big motion, right? And so you can just practice, like, loose handing it from here, right? Getting that, that back edge on, right? So you notice that I'm very much out, and then just blade in. What's going first, right? And you're staring my hand ends, way out here. <laughs> that, so finish your finish, right? Like that, that elbow is. Out. Out. Watch how I finish. That elbow's out, right? The lower it is, the left has to be out. But when you want to start picking up, that elbow has to come up. Better. Well, let's talk about your flat snap. Let me see your flat snap. Maybe we'll, we'll work from there. The wrap is usually when I cover laps. I usually make my guys do about six, eight months. Talk about wraps. Why is your arm so straight? <laughs> Better. Better. So, so I feel like it's a lot of push in there, right? So same mechanic, left to right handed, right? So I want to flat snap him very neutral right and then I just take my elbow through and when that elbow when it collapses as far as it'll collapse the arm might have to go forward right so if I bring that shoulder in elbows here it'll go forward right in so all that cutting power goes into that bag and you end up with basket front face right right and the cool thing about that is that it's like so if I had a weight in my hand that was carrying it and I wanted to give it to you what would, have to, go, what would have to go first my elbow right, right. I want to give it away, right? And we'll bring it back to you. Your elbow has to come back. So in order to get that, it's always the easy way to put your right hand out, you know, like, like you're trying to carry something, right? And so I want you to give it to me. Pick your hand up, right? Give it to me, right? Get your head, get your elbow and carry it. Get like you want to carry it, like you, like you want to carry it. So uh, on your shoulder, carry it, and then give it to somebody, right? Don't turn your shoulders, keep your shoulders short. Press work, right? And so I like to carry it on track up here, like carrying it, right? And you want to give it to me. And it's just very, your elbow in front, the you can, and snap. That's your snap mechanic, right? right? Your shoulders first, back, look. Yep, crush that grip. Think about putting something between your shoulder blades, up one front, and then like you want to carry it, carry it, carry it, carry it, carry it right? So it's just very much there, yeah. right? And so that is, makes it a lot easier to get force away, right? Shoulders back. A little closer to the back. Not much. There you go. Spray good stuff. Point your dick to the back. Or belt bottom. That's what I say. <laughs> Indicator forward. Don't, don't turn your shoulders. Keep your shoulders square. Just your shoulders. Yeah. So I want this. These right here. So watch my throws. Look, look at me from the side. Right? This is not my plane right here. So when I'm throwing, there's no torsion, right? I'm not having to reach forward. I'm not following it. I'm not pulling away from it. It's very much. 
Shoulders stay still. Body weight. The shoulder. Hit people. Not as much that. extension. You don't need any of that extension. You don't need any of that torsion. There's enough mass in your core here to hit people. Hard to. When you fight, you can add. When you practice, you don't need it. Okay. Which is weird because everyone's like telling me to move around the pell as I'm pelling. You gotta get it down first. You gotta be able to front stand it still. Nope, I'll turn your arm up. So, I'm gonna hang on to the end of the sword for a second. Okay. So, you're gonna flat snap it, right? So, <laughs> so, I want you to start like you want to flat snap it, right? So, what's gonna go first? What's gonna go first? Elbow. There you go. Get your elbow, travel, right? Tension, and then it's gonna snap through, right? So, get in that throwing position. Elbow in. Now you wanna throw it, right? Elbow goes first. Now throw. Now I straighten your arm up. Don't reach for your target. Let your sword hit your target. So how you apply, no torsion. So you turn, point your hips, you don't. Point your hips, point your hips, point your hips. Yep, point your knee, there you go. So watch what I'm throwing, right? So I'm here, what's moving? From your shoulder to down, your yep. core is just, just here, right? I don't need all of this, it's unnecessary, right? Do tennis players do this big ass turn when they're hitting the thing? No, like, can you see them? When they ball comes through, whether they're here, and they hit the ball in the air, right? Like, yeah. But they're turning and chasing the ball. We're, our target's here. So, no matter what we're doing, you don't need all that. Conservation of motion. Just core and hit. It's more like an exercise. We're teaching you to throw it on all the other stuff. Point your toe. Your left toe's got to hit it, right? So, point your toe. Don't turn your arm up. So, you think that going towards the target makes it hit harder, right? It doesn't. I'm trying to go that way. But, but you want to cut. You don't want, you're not trying to, to pick your sword up to it. You, you want your sword to cut through, right? Can we try to cut a branch with a machete? Yeah. Right? And so, so bring the sword doesn't do any good. You need that tip speed, and that's from snapping either through, which is forward, or fast, right? Depending on what you're doing. None of them extend your arm. You don't hit shit with your arm hurts because it hurts your elbow, right? So when you want to hit, I'm bringing that elbow in, and then it sets that nice. Because it hits the end of my mechanics, right? That's as far as it'll go. The only thing I have left. Elbow first. Don't straighten your arm out. I like that you just explained the, the entire third law of Newton, uh, Newton's fluid dynamics. There's no other place to go, so it must go forward, right? And so <laughs> it's it such an easy way. <laughs> it, it helps you throw harder, right? And I was like, we take, we're trying to make it. So we make our guys throw a thousand times. Point your toe. We make our, wide your feet, your right foot front of the shoulder, right? There you go. We make our guys throw a thousand shots of hand, and you can't get there without good hands, right? Right, but I, I was trying to do that. And now I have horrible work, <laughs> so I must be doing it wrong. Oh, yeah. No. Don't turn your arm up. So, the big way to think about it is, is here. Right? So, get yep. your elbow. Now, keep your elbow here. Keep your shoulders chest. Make your chest with me. Your elbow is here, right? Once you're here, where can it go? Go forward, way. right? You square your shoulders. Elbow here. So, if you're thinking about bringing that elbow here, there's only one place it can go. Then you're back. <laughs> keep your elbow in front of your hand. We'll stretch here in just a second. We'll see if it makes it easier for you. Get a little closer, like six inches. Now, no turn, no torsion. Just elbow, elbow first, elbow first, elbow first, elbow first. There you go. See the difference? Yeah. Now, move over there to my little V that I got. Put your right foot. There. You're gonna stand on just your right foot. Put your right toe right there. All right now, you're gonna you're just gonna stand on. Toe your other foot off. So you're, you're gonna just toe that other foot. No way, just toe. Okay. So by toe, I mean not, not down, so you literally just put your toes down, right? right. And then just swing, same mechanic. Stand up, not turn your arm up. Elbow first, elbow first. Oh, I think that stretch might happen. Yeah. So let's get the PVC pipe, let's stretch you out. All right, I need more flex. <laughs> the only time it can stretch, right? So for taking this PVC over and you're trying to stretch your shoulder, right? Pulling against that doesn't make it go anywhere, right? It's rigid right right and so what you do is that you try to pull your top hand you're going to pull against your bottom hand and once the muscle is under tension then it can be stretched <laughs> and you're doing eight seconds and you're going to switch it over to the other hand this is an extreme stretch yeah <laughs> so 
Let's see how, see how I've got the 90 right. Got a very straight shape. See how your shape is very collapsed? Open your shape, make it long. You want your elbow to point as much to the side as you can. Up here. Not, not right, now, now, now pull your top hand. Pull your top, no, pull your top hand. Pull your top hand, and then just slightly go against it, right? There, that's the torsion you're looking for, right? Eight seconds, 15 times, 10. Switch, 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 switch. So, see how mine is straight back, right? I've also spent a lot of time in this stretch. But pull that top hand, and then I stretch. So your elbow's facing me and not out to the left. Yeah, and it just takes a while to get used to that stretch. So if your shoulders won't go back, that's just a pass-through, right? Yeah. So, so get at the ends of your five-footer and then just do a pass-through, right? And then once you can do it two or three times successfully with your pass-through, move in about an inch. Do a pass-through, right? Just keep working those shoulders in, right? No, nope. go back out. You want that pass-through to be very smooth, right? And those joints up. So the way I describe it to people is that when I'm trying to loosen my shoulders up, I want them loose enough that if I was doing a, a, a snatch, right, in that catch, you know, that position your arms are in when yep. you're catching a snatch, that's what we're looking for. We need our shoulders limber enough that that, that catch position for an overhead squat is comfortable, right? And so you have to find where that's comfortable for you. And it's going to take a while if you haven't done it, right? Because not a lot of people focus on stretching, right? And so you're... You got this one, you know, you're gonna put that, that 10 times, 80 seconds or so into that stretching, both hands. I want you to feel good that way, then we're gonna do it the other way. And that is this, right? So we're trying to get our hands where they closer behind each other. So we'll take this. Now, a lot of people will tell you to grab the pipe. I don't like that because it, it messes with your wrist, right? And so what I want you to do is put it in the middle of your back and okay. hold it against yourself, arm straight across, hold it against yourself with your wrist, right? See how I've got it held against me? And because I'm holding it in tension, right? Once you're in tension, then you just take that piece of PVC and you stretch the other muscle of your shoulder. It's so painful. <laughs> right? Hey, buddy. Yeah. Same thing. Then switch hands. So, under tension, arm straight across, hold that pipe into your body, and then just grab it and stretch. Right? Same thing, eight to 10 seconds, 10 times. All right, so we'll okay. start off with the first one. <laughs> so the important part is this one, see how to see, like, make sure that your shape is proud, right? Like you don't want a collapsed shape. You want that 90, make sure you're trying to be parallel. And then, and so if you're having problems with it, just move it out on your shoulder further, right? So if you, cause you're trying to bring it forward, you like yeah. the flexibility. So just get it closer to your forearm, right? Yeah. Like I've got it here, see how far out I am, right? Yeah. And then just try to make sure that you roll Nope. Straight up, straight up, straight up, right there. So you got it out, so you got it relaxed, and now pull with the sand ever so slightly, and then just portion against it. Right? Portion Ooh, against it, yeah. And so just try to make sure your arm stays up. <laughs> yep. Just rotate back and forth. <laughs> yep. We make everybody do this. Yep. Same thing. Up out to the side. Right, get that shape, double tap. Now try to pull, pull that top in, right? And then just torsion against it, right? Stretch. Right. Shoulder back. Think about crushing that grip. When you start that, think about between the two shoulder blades. As you start that stretch, pull those shoulder blades back, right? You want to stretch. Like the line. Yeah, you, well, you, well that's how you should try it. You want, your, you want your shoulders back. A lot of people have their shoulders forward. Think about pulling those shoulders back. That's going to help you engage a lot quicker. Because your shoulders are already in tension. You're not having to draw the throne. You can just throw. So keep your shoulders pulled back. Tighten. All right. Out. Shoulders back. Pull your shoulders back. Like together. There you go. Now stretch this. See how much straighter your arm is now? Like it's to the, to the left. That way. That's what we're looking for. Once it's in the kitchen, come on, you know, put it in there. Right? You, you, want to, you want to be like, ah, you know, yep. not a little bit, and you just, just keep pulling. Right? So when I started this, uh, I had to re-separate and throw the shoulder twice, right? For years and years, the fuzz I could reach back was here, and no flexibility, because I tore on my rotator, every, everything tore it, and uh, got everything worked on. And it, it, when I laid down, my hand would lay on the ground. But got that shape, pull against it, and now I've got it. 
<laughs> well, she'll, she'll lay wherever I want her to, right? Yeah. And that, that comes back to a plate press. We'll cover that once you get stretched. Do your pass throughs, your plate stretches, and you're behind you. Get all that, and we'll switch to a, a plate press here in a second. Yeah, so the big thing, shoulders back, shoulders back, under tension, right? Have your shoulders back, because that's where we're going to spend a lot of our time, is in that uh, pushing that grip between your shoulder blades. This is what I wanted. All right. And not a lot of people focus on flexibility and mobility, right? So if you're having a hard time flat tapping, a lot of times it's because your elbow won't come far enough, right? Because you're here and then you're trying to cast it forward, right? Or, or you're pushing. So if your elbow is where you need it to, I take a 40 pound pump plate and I can give it to you, right? Like I can carry weight under mass slows. That's what I want. Because I want to be very clean, very smooth. I'm not trying to push it. I'm trying to snap it and cut you in half with it. Bro. That's just body mechanics. Put your shoulders back, shoulders back. Bring this hand down, bring this hand down. Put your shoulders back. Now, under torsion. There you go. Right that edge. <laughs> right when you're like, bruh. Yeah, and back forth, back forth, back forth. <clears throat> Shoulders back, arm right to the side. Keep going, keep square, keep the chest square. So that's giving you problems like with your, your out flex. Take your, your basic band stretch, right? That's a little too loose. That's a little loose. Here, and that stretch is to you, right? Okay. You want to get the, the engagement? Say I got the engagement in the shoulders. You want to stretch it to you. Warming the shoulder joints up. So feel how stiff you are there, and then do, do like 10 of these, 10 or 12. Find a, a spot that's comfortable for you. Okay. And then just get it under tension and then see how I'm going past neutral, right? Yep. Against my chest. You're going past the yeah, it's, 90. As far as I can, just trying to just trying to pull my, my shoulder blades as tight as I can, right? Yeah. Try to get to where it lands on your chest. Your hands down low enough. Yeah, there you go. You want lands on your right across your nipples, as if you can. Yep, there it is. You probably come up about an inch. There you go. Right. <laughs> yep. Yep, perfect. Those and then try it again. See if you can tell the difference. The mm -hmm. go back to PVC stretch. Okay. See if you can tell the difference. And now you're working on pulling and engaging your shoulders, right? Relax, relax. Put your shoulders back. It should help you, right? Because now you can engage, start putting blood and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Should help you stretch. Much better. Yep, yep. So, a lot of basic stuff will help you start moving everything, right? So, we recommend a little bit of band, a little bit of PVC. Try and get your shoulders loose. The goal at the end of this, you know, is that is that that real that real nice pass through, right? Right. So you can get that. I'm no gymnast, right? But get that nice pass through. The cool thing is, as your pass through gets better, that's what you're looking for. If you were doing a snatch, right? When you come up for that snatch, your catch is in that. It's, it's See how far back I am? Yeah. That's a catch because in order to do a squat, that weight has to be behind your shoulders, right? So once you feel comfortable with it, try to do a squat with it. See what it feels like. Up here. Yep, yep, yep. Is it? Shoulders starting to warm up? Yep. <laughs> All right. Now let's try this. Now try. Pour your left foot. I want your left foot forward. There you go. Yep. Better. Less torsion. Don't turn your torso. So when you throw this one, look. Point your shoulders back. Yep. Point, keep your chest square, right? Point your shoulders back, and then just look. Front up to follow it, right? So you're just here. See how my chest stays still? Uh -huh. Front up to torsion. And you do that by just looking, right? You know the back's not going anywhere. Keep your chest in, steady. Nope. That was flat. Front blade. Front blade. No turn. No turn. See how your shoulders are moving? Look at your shoulders. Look at your shoulders. Pull them back. Pull them back. This shoulder should be directly at me, right? I'm sorry. I've got no idea. <laughs> what 
what, what, so what we're what we're talking about is a we're I'm, just, I'm a couple of methods I want to show you how how I keep your uh, from turning right. Okay. So here in just a little bit, is we're gonna do the same thing, and you're essentially gonna set up your, your pointer in the uh -huh. middle of your finger, or middle of your chest here, and when you're torsioning, you're pointing over there, right? But when you're doing it the way I want you to, it never moves. It always faces the target. We're working our way there. Okay. Let's try different methods to see if you can see it right, and then we'll move to the, the last one, which is the pointing finger. Okay. It's not charged at all, by the way, honey. Oh, I see that. That's you know, my work phone's right here. If you want it. Well, I needed it to check the messages. It's fine. Go ahead. Go okay. teach. It's fine. All right, got it. Are <laughs> you straighten your arm up? I'm straightening your arm up. Get a little closer, like three four inches. Yep. Now, again, elbow through first. Elbow first. Elbow first. So this time, set it up in your L and have it point at the target, right? So you should, when you finish, it shouldn't move, right? See how you turn it, right, at the end? Yeah. yeah. So before you get to get to your phone position, get to your phone position, right? But right now, start this as your phone position, elbow forward, right? Okay. We'll work away up from this, but right now, just think about elbow first. It's going to help you not move. No, stop moving your elbow. This. This, this is, a, is the starting This button. is a perfectly good throwing position. Just throw from there. All right? Don't straighten your arm up. Remember, you're, you're trying to pass somebody that tray. You're trying to carry that yep. and bring it back. Don't see how your shoulders are oh. torsioning? Keep your shoulders facing the back. Right? Because when you hit the end, of your, when you hit, look. See where I hit the end? When you're here, there's only one place to go. Up there. Right? We'll drive plate press here in just a second. Let me get a 25 pound plate. Be right back. Uh, we'll do some That's a little much for passes. You use your delts a lot more. Oh, yeah. I want to hit them with my body weight. Why the fuck would I hit them with my arm? <laughs> so, we're talking about plates and stuff earlier, right? So, like, just like a little waiter carrying a tray, right? So I've got that position right. Let's be where I can pick it up. And if I want to, I just give it to you, right? Why is that solid? Why is that mechanical sound, right? Because your elbow's inside of it, right? So I can make that weight where we need to, right? And then bring it back to you and then throw. So that stays nice and level. Mm -hmm. That's what we're gonna do. Take this 15 pound plate, carry it like your waiter, elbow inside, and then you're gonna practice in your elbow as far in as you can, like you wanna give it to somebody. <laughs> nope, sit in your palm. Sit in your palm. Hey, it's bridged yeah. up on my. Well, take, take your dummy off. We'll try it from there. Do both hands. You're going to do both hands at the end of it anyway. All right. Yeah. Flexibility is the number one problem for people, and then not understanding how to throw uh, with your body weight is the second. Once you start bridging the both, and there's, there's a gap in there, right? At a certain point, you're strong enough to not do some of these things, but if you're going to throw for volume, like we're trying to throw a thousand shots a hand. You need to throw it correctly. You're going to need to throw it correctly because you're going to burn out of that full five, six hundred mark. Fingers, pump, pump, right? And then all you're trying to do is you want to give me the plate. Right? Exactly. And then take it back. Make sure your elbow stays inside. Right? Elbow. And then you're giving it. So that, that's what you're trying to throw with, right? That's all we're looking for. Let's see, it comes here, right? And then I'll take it. Right? So for you. And bring it back and so no matter how I want to when I go throw it look my elbow comes in and then I just give it to you right so obviously we want your elbow higher if possible you know like around nipple height but as smooth that is right here 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 you go so both hands all right so go ahead and get your elbow inside for that like throwing position we we're talking about open your shape up ever so slightly now just bring your shape through and give it to somebody yep and that's the mechanic See, try to keep the plate parallel. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of motion for that upper arm. It's just yeah. very little. No, very little, very little, because it's just mechanics all the way through, right? And so see how I keep this plate when I go to give it to you? So that stays as flat as I can, right? Mm -hmm. So anytime that it's dipping, it's because your hand is like applying pressure or your elbow's not in the right spot. When you give it to people, if you're carrying it and you know what to give it to people, it's very smooth, right? That's the mechanic. <laughs> Double flats now. Palm up, elbow in. Start. There, that gets the plate parallel. Give it to me. 
Try to keep it up a little higher. Right there. Like trying to hit me out of here. No play. Better. Try to keep playing parallel. <laughs> Better. Now do it with the other hand. That's going to be a train wreck. Yep. Double one. I bet it's better than the other one. <laughs> Smoother, isn't it, right? It's because this hand doesn't know anything, so it's just being told what to do. Less torsion. Keep your shoulders back. There you go. Elbows first. You want your elbow to go in a little bit further. So you're trying to get your elbow all the way here. In and then out. Perfect. There you go. That's okay. the mechanic. <laughs> under tension, under load. Same way you take something and carry it and give it to somebody. Point two. There you go. No, no. See, go like this. Relax. Relax. So, we'll get your hand grip for just a second. But same thing. Relax your hand. Throw it through. Don't go on. Don't go on. We're not, we're not out. Out is here, right? You hear the bag plenty, right? You got stick for days left over. Less torsion, keep your shoulders back. Yep, point your finger. Yep. Don't turn your eyes. Just snap it through. When your elbow hits here, it, it will only go, I assure you, your elbow, you're, you're, you're way too close as it is. When your elbow hits here, there's only one place it's gonna go, forward. You don't have to, you don't have to make it go forward. It will go forward on its own. Don't torsion your shoulders. Straight back, there you go. Now, like you're carrying it, right? Like you have weight. So this time, get your elbow all the way through. Elbow through, elbow through, elbow through. And then snap, yeah. And now throw it. That's the target. Right. More elbow first. Yep. Less torsion to the shoulders. I don't need you. I don't need you chasing it with your back. Just shoulder. Yep. Let's turn your arm. <laughs> I don't care that you do. I don't want you following or following. Right. It just needs to be. Here, right? You stay very neutral, right? It's like you throw a ball to somebody, and when you throw that ball, you're just here. I don't need you to chase it. Nope. Elbow first, elbow first, elbow first. Right? So when you start that roll, right, get back, get back in your position. When you start that roll, get back in your starting position. Okay. So when you go start that shot, start that shot with your hand roll out, slightly rise. Lightly relaxed position, elbow first. Start like that. So, when we're throwing it, try to keep the blade parallel to the ground. All right, say tip's coming down, I'll let the blade parallel. Don't let your tip down. Nope, don't go out. So, watch. watch. So, I'm going to hang on to it, right? Just, just this little finger, right? To let you know that it literally has nothing to do with your hand, right? So, we're here, and I want to throw it. I just get my elbow through, and then it just, just rolls in, right? So, you're so I assure you, the way you're death gripping it has nothing to do with how well you can hit, right? I can hold on to just my ring finger right there, right? Here, and hit plenty hard. It's how you need to throw. And cool thing about it is when you hit, I can just keep it parallel. Relax your hand. Try to mask it out like we talked about. Keep the tip up, keep the tip up. There you go. Now, double through. Nope, don't leave the tip down. So uh, this, get back, get back, get back more. That's stuff. So this is your shoulder height, correct? Right? Yep. So you should be able to clear that from the flat side. Better. Leave it with the elbow. Nope, <laughs> that's down. Keep your tip up. Tip up, there you go. So the, the important turn you'll learn about it, so my palm is flat, right? So I've got this, I'm giving it to you. It's literally just here, right? There's no, there's no, I'm not trying to grab and control it. I just take it, my palm is flat, I just give it to you. <laughs> There's no up and down. You're thinking about this too much. It's literally be your position. Just like this. Relax your hand. Your hand's probably too short. We'll get to that in a little bit. Pick the tip up. There you go. Again. Nope. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to get my hands out. Keep that elbow in and just chop it back. Keep that elbow and chop it back. Quick torsion. I'll show you the thing here in a little bit. We're, we're working through it. We'll get to the, the fix for it in a second. Elbow first. Better, better. There you go. Elbow first. Yep. Yep. There you go. Elbow first. So where you're losing is you, you keep pulling it back with your elbow. When you hit, 
Your elbow should stay in front of it the whole time. Okay. Right, so when you hit and that bounces up, what can I do immediately? Because my elbow's in front of my head. I can throw again, right? But when you're out of the grind, I mean, we call that jerking off the giant. Or, or road jerk off for Jesus. Yeah, where, where, depending on where you're at, you know, you got this little this little jerk off motion, but if you pull it back, your elbow stays in it. You know, immediately throw again. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, oh, your elbow broke. Uh, bro, bro, freeze when you hit the back. Huh? Freeze when you hit the back. And so your recovery is literally just, no, no, no collapse, just, ow. Oh, now look, we can immediately throw again, right? Yep, just clap your shape a little bit and just a little bit and then just throw it again. No torsion. No, we'll turn your chest. Well, the problem is, so look, you can open your shoulder up. Shoulder can open, but I'm not opening, right? Chest stays still, shoulder opens, throws again. Keep your chest back. Elbow front of hand. Throw it. Now bring it back, bring it back. Open the shoulder, open the shoulder, open the shoulder. Now throw again. Right? So it should be saying in and out. Both directions. There you go. You're opening a little soon. Keep that elbow tucked in front of you. There you go. Now, that was the best one. Because once it hit the part, it couldn't go anymore. The sword follows, right? Yep. Yep. <laughs> it has to. Keep step up. <sighs> yeah. A lot, of, a lot of strong tension. A lot of shoulder. Yeah. Do your uh, other hand. Yeah. We'll talk about exercises and stuff we, we, we do later. So same front principle, right? Elbow's always in front of hand. Relax your hand out. Elbow in front. Keep that tip up. Now, in that. Now, turn your arm. A little closer, there you go. Now, just pull it back. All right, no, no, no. So, so the closest you generally want to get this is 90. Right, so right now, 90 to slightly open, right? So, don't close, 90, right? So, your recovery, the reason 90 is important, if you're in 90 shape, I can move it, right? Yeah. This shape, hard to move. So, 90, right? So, open, tip up, tip up, tip up, tip up. Or again, tip up, there you go, tip up. There you go. Now, elbow through. Put a follow up your shoulder. Crush that great. Between shoulder blades. Pull the shoulder back. Pull the shoulder back. Pull the shoulder back. Now, you go. now elbow through. Much better. <laughs> we probably look like a doof, but. Uh, I'll keep your tip up. Ethan sent you a question about the work. Hello? You're going to make it a shoulder workout. <laughs> Yeah. Three, right? So start off that flat snap. Three, one, three, two, three, 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 four, five, six. Then it's just, and then four, 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 three. Very smooth, right? But notice what you not see. I'm not going crazy with my arm, right? Very smooth. And then you'll do the same thing your left hand, right? So when you hit that deal, that's once, right? And then you'll do it left-handed forward, and then you'll do it backwards. Six, 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 five, and then you'll do it backwards, left-handed. And that's one cycle. The goal is to be able to throw it seven cycles. Yeah. So you'll throw a cycle, your rest timer is usually your partner's time, right? Okay. So they'll do theirs, and then you're immediately back on the back. <laughs> That way, but I have been trying to uh, replicate that. It's a shoulder exercise, right? And so once you kind of get used to the, uh, the mechanics of it, we uh, once you get to where you start to do, you know, you get into that four, four to five reps, we'll get out of the speed back machine, right? Because this helps you keep your arms up and it burns out very similar muscles, right? Mm -hmm. Whether you're going forward or whether you're going backwards, whether you're bent over, it's very much learning how to keep your shoulders adjusted. That is going to determine how long you can fight. <laughs> Shoulders get tired. Everybody gets tired. Your butt's in the way. Oh, my butt in the way. Sorry. So, so square to the back. Square to the back. Hips at the back. Toe pointed at where you would like to hit the back at least, right? Yep. Bend your knees ever so slightly. Yep. Now, so let's get in that throwing position, right? So we're going to talk about this relaxed throwing position, right? So you're dropping your elbow, right? So your elbow's going to relax. So your elbow drop. And your sword is just snapping in, right? And then you're picking it up, and then your sword is snapping in, right? And so all you're doing is getting relaxing. Get a little far back. It feels like an inch closer to you. Yep. Now, bend your knees a little bit. Actually, anytime you're throwing the one or the six, you got to bend your knees just a little bit. Don't throw your arm out. Don't throw your arm out. 
I assure you, you're plenty close to the back. So your elbow's gonna hit that point we talked about, right? And yeah. Then, and then you, you're literally hitting, and then just point, right? Hit point. Yeah, don't put your down elbow stays tight. Elbow is down to waist, and yeah. then well, it's like flat. This. Yeah. So look. Right, elbow go first. Elbow. Elbow first. That's not helping. <laughs> I'm trying to get to keep that shoulder back. Ah, so it's it's all right. Right. Just think about crushing that grate. Yeah. Too much, but you're better tonight with that, right? So elbow first, and then right, and then you're bringing it back the same way, and then the two. Right? And then two. Don't twist. Don't twist. Yep, you're not ready to say you brought it out on the rodeo. We talk about hey, just keep it flat. No, 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 you're not trying to it, bring it back far enough. Look how forward you are, right? Bring it back far enough you can hit, right? So chest stay still, no torsion, right? One, 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 two. What am I throwing with? You're right? throwing with your pectoral one, and your bicep three, and your shoulder. One, four, right? This is very neutral, right? When you fight, you can add all that shit. When you're training, it, you don't need any of it. But you should be able to throw a good shot from the standing position. Simple mechanics, right? You shouldn't need your body weight. You shouldn't need all this big torsion shit. I think it's unnecessary. Watch. Flex shot is just here, here, right? Like that, that straight ass line. Uh -huh. I just hit, right? I just want to hit, I'll bring it back. I hit the two. When it hit, I'll bring it back. I hit the three, right? So it just takes you, takes your hips. Elbow. There's a lot of stretch. I spent a ton. No oh. torsion. There you go. Should have stood up before you threw, but that's fine. Nope, 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 nope. You know any oh. helicopters? Anybody throw them above their head? Okay. So what happens when you throw above your head? Where's your short at the whole time? It's above your head. Behind, behind you, behind. right? Right. So where's your short need to be? It needs to be in front of you. Correct. Right, so that's why I throw them real slow, right? So if I'm going from a uh, from a one to a four, right? If I throw one, I'm here at one. So I pick my sword up. Oh shit, it's in front of me, right? Preferably crossing me slightly, right? So if I hit here, so notice my basket's closer to here, right? So I'm gonna pick it up. Sword's still in front of me. When I flip it, mostly in front of me, right? Sword has to be in front of you. So if you're one, four, right? One, four. If I want to go four to a three, right? It stays here. And it just goes to a three, right? That's so that tick tock. It's in front of you, not above your head. You're not a helicopter. In front of you. There you go. Now, so we're going to hit curl, hit curl. It's, it's, I'll show you the easy way I teach this. Goes to that side, right? So we're going to talk about throwing that flat snap, right? You know, flat snap. The first thing you're going to do is turn your knuckles to the sky. Pick your elbow up ever so slightly. So why would you do that? Why would you pick your hand up ever so slightly? Because when you, you hit, trying to change your try to change directions, right? So when I hit and I get my 90 shape back, I turn my basket to the sky as I apply upward motion. It kind of kills gravity, right? Kind of makes it easier to turn your sword versus like hitting and then like just trying to throw again. I'm not saying you can't do that. I'm just telling you, it takes a shit ton more energy than just flat snapping, turning, and then just applying a little bit of upward motion here. And then just throw it, right? I know I keep shaking my head yes, like I know what I'm talking no, about. No, no, no. It's all right. Your feet are terrible. You get, you get those ones, right? There you go. I'm fixing to get you a sword with no basket because that, that may be uh, fucking me up a little bit here. And this you should, I can't see your hand currently. Somewhere, somewhere. One right, right? Yeah, it's a it's like a little pixie stick. You're a big strong boy, so I don't know if that's gonna do you any good. That's a, a an old boy sword. That's a 34 as well. Why not be a 38? I think I gave them all the spells. You gave them all out already. Yeah. So. You can try with the uh, 34. When we, when we added the rack to the ends, they're lasting a lot longer now. Yeah. No, I gave a few away already. All right. So, so now, now I'm showing where I like this trick. So, relax. Put string back in. String back in. You want that string in. Right. Right. 
There you go. Well, that's that stick in your fingers. Lengthen your grip. That's the other thing. There you go. Got your thumb on it. Just lengthen. So when I talk about lengthen, right? So we're talking about may, why you may be struggling with this. So if I have a short hand, right? And I want to throw a flat snap from a short hand. So see I've got a short hand, right? Uh -huh. See how far it pulls me, right? Got to get that. Got to pull your shoulder a little bit. You will lengthen your grip, right? We're talking about get that finger super long, right? So see how long it is in my palm, right? See how much of my sword touches my hand? Very long, right? So the cool thing about a long grip, look how easy it is to flat snap, right? I don't have to follow it. Like, I can, very easy, right? So the longer your hand is, the easier it is to get back. And less torsion and tension, right? Ooh, look at that. See how much easier it is to start? Stop fucking jerking him up. I don't need your hand but, but see the, see how much easier it is to get the flat snap to it, right? It's not, it's not putting as much torsion in your elbow, not hurting your shoulder as much, right? Lengthening your grip. So every time you're having trouble and you're kind of following a little bit, think about just rolling your grip out and lengthening it in your hand. Okay. There was something I was trying a little bit before I left, so maybe, and it's a lengthened grip, so. Three. 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 Always three. Always why not two? Why, why not two? This bone will make your hand ache. This bone is the last thing on your hand and it's connected to your pinky don't do shit. So that's, that's your whole hand essentially. The pinky doesn't count. It's stuff that might be a little longer. But you get on your ring finger, you snap it in there with no hand pain. Hips facing the target. Elbow first. You're too far away from the target. Slide forward about an inch or two. There you go. Now. Right. Less torsion in your shoulders. There you go. Very good. Relax your grip, relax. Keep that tip up, keep that tip up. Tip up, tip up, tip up. Tip up. Like, oh. right there. Yep, snap up. There you go. Up. There you go, go. Throw your thumb over. I don't like your thumb on the back. I want no suicide grip? Yeah. Well, I just want to, yeah. It doesn't have to do anything. It literally just has to ride in that somewhere. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> tip up. Up, roll forward. There you go. Last one yet. Yeah. Less torsion in your shoulders. You gave too much credit and you start spinning. <laughs> Give me positive reinforcement. Yeah. Keep your tip up. Straighten your shoulders back out. Tip up, tip up, tip up, tip up, tip up. There you go. Now, no torsion. Just shoulder. There you go. Tip up, tip up. Shoulder. Double. Switch hands. Same thing. Come in, shoulder to target. When you hit your mechanically portion, you can't go anymore. That's it. There's nothing else you can do. But this sword can, it's already been given the energy, so just keep tight with it. There you go. Better. Let's turn your arm back. Better. There you go. Yep. Is that not an easier way to do it? That's a that's easier. Let's see if I can do it like this. <laughs> so all you're doing is when your hand, when your elbow finds the end of its mechanical rotation, whether it's out or in, depending on where you are, don't collapse your shape. Right. So if your shape says it's 90 and we're here, when it's there, the only place it can go is here. Come torsion. No. Shoulders back. Shoulders back. Crush that grate. Right. Elbow first. Elbow first. Yep. I'm trying to undo all my mechanics. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's a terrible situation. See, don't don't open it. Just elbow and then let it cut. Right? Yeah, as long as your elbow hits the end, the sword will cut behind it, I assure you. Yep, there you go. Yep. So the difference? Yep. Tip up. Better. Same mechanic at the, uh, at the two. Yep, don't turn your arm up. Yep, just 
keep it relaxed like you're carrying it, and just get that elbow in and then snap it through. Elbow through. Yeah, so look, so my elbow. I'll throw on that, see it comes here, and then I'll open like here, and then all you're doing is so I had a high hand, I want to leg you, so I'm just letting my elbow lead it as long as I can, and then throw. Right? Bring him because you're not trying to throw, you're not trying to jack him up. You want to strike him. So the elbow needs to get in front so that I can cut in half when I'm hitting. Okay. It just needs to be a straight line. Don't dip. Don't dip. Now you're following, right? It's just literally take your hand from where you're at and you're just here, here. Nothing else moves. Same, same mechanics we're throwing here, right? You just bring your elbow down to strike. Okay. Nope. Straight line. Nope. We're not aggressive. Straight to it. There you go. Boy, see my shape? See, you got your open and closing shape? Watch my shape. Never, never opens till we're here, right? So I want to give it to it. So I want to point at it, right? You don't, you don't have to roll it. You literally just. Yep. <laughs> Very smooth. Very smooth. Generator stacks. Yep. Smooth. Smooth as fast. Whatever happened to those stacks? Probably good. Probably fact. There you go. Elbow first. Nope. Arms are straight. Arms are straight. So you turn it. You got two torches in there. Yeah, just elbow. And let it go. Relax your wrist. Lengthen your grip. Lengthen your grip. Lengthen your grip. Now, try it again. Better. Better. Double first. Now, on this one, when you're, when you're turning your hand over, think about the tip whipping in there, right? So look, look at my hand. So when I'm here, think about like this. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm trying to get my hand to you, and then I want to point at it. Nice arc. Yeah. So here, when you want to start swinging, keep your sword up. Start right. swing, start swing, right? Elbow. And then don't collapse your shape. Elbow. That's what you're talking about. I'm like, what the hell am I collapsing? Your shape. Keep your 90 out. Throw. And then look. When you hit here, it will snap through, I assure you. Right? So get your elbow in front of it as long as you can at the shape. And then snap it. Don't open your shape. Nope. So that's because you're. It's because you're I'm stiffening it up. Well, you're swinging like this, exactly. Relax. Snap. Snap. <laughs> Fly fish. Yes. I'm going to make a ton of references to other things, and I'm not going to do any of them. That's fine. <laughs> but I'm trying to understand. Yeah. It's a terrible stop. Yet it's so much fun. Mm -hmm. It is. Don't move your sword. There you go. There you go. Now throw. Do with your other hand. Do with the other hand. Switch. Point your toe. Point your toe. Don't. Don't. See how you're leaning and reaching? See how you follow it with your back? With the shoulder back? Crush that grate. Quit twisting. So right now, when you're hitting here, you're following it. When you hit here, just just let the sword go. All right, don't straighten your arm out. You're not straighten your arm out. You have to pose either. Just just whip it in there. When your elbow hits the end of your rotation, you right, watch. Just leave your elbow in place. And let the sword follow, right? More moving the shoulder elbow first. The finish is fine, just start it better. Relax, there you go. You want to get your elbow in a little bit further in towards your chest. There you go. See the difference? You can immediately hear it. I'm following Follow myself it. back though. Yeah, quit following it. You're following, following it, right? I'm trying to 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm not fucking it into submission. I need it's to. Right. It's a it's a weird mechanic. I tell people it's terrible until you get it. Nope. So you're following it again. So okay. we're gonna do it on one touch, one foot. So do it on your right foot, three swings. Toe the other. There you go. Do it on your left foot for three swings. Let me see which foot you got. You're better, right? Toe the other one. Go. So now, I, I like your left foot between the two. So now, same position, but you're gonna pitch it to me, right? So we're trying to get you to isolate your hips because I feel like you're, you're cheating a lot because you have both feet. So when you use one foot, it makes you work on trying to, trying to keep it, right? But even then, some people put weight on that other foot. We check both. So this time, we're gonna pitch it to you. You're gonna turn your toes in, right? And then you're just gonna relax your weight to your knees, to the inner thighs touch, right? Once your inner thighs touch, your toes turn in. Guess what you can't do? Can't torsion. Your hips locked in place, right? So now it's just a shoulder move, right? So everything you throw will be through your shoulders. Without your hips. Now hit your toes, right? Turn your toes in. Now just bend your knees. Bend your knees. Tip. Down. Look over. Look over. Now, now let's throw the same drops. <laughs> so, so guess what shows up immediately, right? Because you're trying to use your hips, right? And now, of course, you use your shoulder. Yeah. Quick torsion. Keep setting. There you go. Tip up, tip up, tip up. Up down. Tip up. Tip up. Tip up. Up and back. There you go. Now. Now string arm up. There you go. There you go. Bend those knees. Put the knees together. There you go. <laughs> tip up. Tip up. Tip up. Tip up. Shoulder back. Tip up. Shoulder back. Tip up, roll your shoulder back, roll your shoulder back. You keep rolling forward, you're chasing it, you're chasing it. Get that fucking back back there. Okay. And that's a perfect fine to have on your left. That's about how much I typically use when I'm being angry, so. Shoulder back, now. There you go. <laughs> so awkward. Yeah, because it makes you stay still and throw it, right? Now, now do it with your dominant hand. That was your non-dominant hand. That's the easy hand. Your dominant hand knows how to sort of fight. It's gonna hate the whole thing. Through and through. Bend those knees. There you go. There you go. I see I hit the bag easy, right? Like we got tons of space left over, right? So back up about an inch, maybe two. A little too far. Pigeon it. Now throw. It's amazing how easy it is the bag. Like remember earlier you kept trying to move up, right? Yeah. It's like I'm too far away. I'm like, don't torsion. There you go. Just shoulder. Yep. Feel the difference? Yeah. Makes, makes. Oh. <laughs> There's a whole lot of difference there. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. Everybody thinks it, that all this power we drive and generate is from our, um, it's from our feet. We we add to with our feet, but your mechanics are like throwing a ball, right? Like right. You're, you're you're whipping it in there as fast as you can, and that is a shoulder-driven torsion. You don't you don't need all that uh, big turns like everybody does. It's, it's unnecessary. Especially as light as these SCA swords are. They're not fucking six pound weapons, right? They're no. Two, three, four pounds. Smack people with them, right? Unnecessary to do all that other shit. Probably got to go to the uh, grocery store and fill 